people being bullied and you're now looking for a way to change the game i've got you this video is specially for you do not go anywhere hello and welcome to my youtube channel i am adoma today i'll be talking about ways to change the game ways to outwit a bully last week we talked about bullying what it is signs that you're being bullied and signs that you are a bully and today i want to talk about ways that we can change the game bullies have been hurt themselves and so to feel good about themselves they look for people who they perceive to be be smaller and they try to put the other persons down every one of us have our energy we have our own personal spaces how we see ourselves and how we think about ourselves and what we think about ourselves so if we always think negative about ourselves a bully smells that negative if you think good thoughts about yourself your energy around you becomes positive your personal space around you becomes bigger the only way to change the game is to change our personal space once the personal space gets bigger and gets and gets positively energized the bully stop messing with you there's a story i heard recently about um, a young boy who was being bullied by someone in his class and so every time he gets on the bus the boy you know makes very mean jokes and everybody laughs you know he feels so bad about himself and so he he talks to his father and like and told the father that say um this boy bullies me and i don't know what to do and the father said, when you go, when you get on the bus tomorrow, invite the bully to your seat. I mean, that's ridiculous. And so that's, that's, that would sound stupid, isn't it? This guy is a bully. He bullies me. He punches me. And you're asking me to invite him to my seat. I mean, is that not suicidal? Like you're telling me to dig the grave for to dig my own grave and get myself buried and the boy was like god uh -huh, i can't do that mm, no thank you for your advice and he left and then the next day was school day and he got on the bus and he sat down and the bus stopped for the bully to enter and as soon as the bully got in his heart his, his heart was beating like god what am i gonna do what am i gonna? and he remember what his father said and then he looked up and he called the bully by name like come and have your seats come and sit close to me he was scared but he did it scared and the, the, the bully was like I, I didn't hear you were like did you just call me to your seat like hey come and sit here and you know the bully looked around like okay okay and he came and sat close to him and that was how the bully stopped messing with him because number one he built his confidence and so to change the game you need to change your personal space and in change your personal space you build confidence you can you can start by exercising and you know when you exercise you're kind of when you're exercising there's something about exercise it sends what's the word now uh, I'm not an exercise junkie, but it sends some hormones into your because I I exercise and I dance with all these you know um those exercise videos and for me when I do it I feel good about myself really I feel good about myself I feel lighter and so when you exercise you feel lighter you you feel good about yourself it changes your mood it makes you feel happier it builds your confidence and you, you know when you <laughs> when you ex pardon me pardon me when you i'm laughing because i'm just um i'm trying to remember how i feel when i do my exercises it's so like okay when you exercise and you feel lighter you kind of feel um you feel better you're not slim already you're not going slimmer but in your head you feel like oh i'm getting into shape oh my abs are coming in I'm, I'm coming out oh i'm getting abs you know you you it builds confidence in you so you can start by getting physical to build your confidence it will change your posture and then you begin to feel good about yourself another thing you can do is get on the dance floor I'm not a very good dancer. I won't say that I'm a dancer, but 
I enjoy dancing. Get a nice music and tune it, tune into it and dance. I'm telling and it builds your confidence. If I tell you a secret, sometimes I dance on the road. Don't tell anyone. Don't. Sometimes I dance on the road. I plug in my ear of headphones and I'm moving my body. I'm dancing. It builds confidence. These are tested and trusted strategies. For me, this is what I do. And it helps build my confidence. Number three, positive declarations, positive affirmations. You can write. I have, I have, um, right now I'm looking at the words that are on my wall and I'm, it's written, I am a strong woman. I am successful. Nothing is impossible for me. I have value. I will not compare myself to strangers on the internet. I am healthy. I am energetic. I'm special. I'm gifted. I'm loved. I'm lovable. I'm joyful. I'm fabulous. I'm wonderful. I am me. You know, this and many other words I have on, on my wall. You can write them so that every morning you see them and you see this into, you say this to yourself and you know it seeps into your subconscious and you begin to act these words i'm joyful i'm lovable you have no if, I, if you're lovable god you cannot be bullied right so write these positive words put them where you can see them and declare them every morning every morning every morning when you wake up and at night when you're about to go to bed and in between you know different hours of the day you can declare this this words to yourself and it energizes you N number four thing you can do is to change the bullish story instead of focusing on the negativities focus on the positivities on the positivities this tell yourself this bully can change oh this bully um has issues and oh his point is insecurity on me change change the story don't see the bully as a big thing. When you change the story, you begin to see a bully as someone who really is in need. It makes him smaller in your eyes. So change the story. Change the bully story. Don't paint him or her so big up there. Paint him or her as someone down here. Someone who needs who who even needs your help. Who is calling on you to help them to change the bully story. The, another thing you can do is to up your story about yourself. That's secured in your insecurities if for example um the bully always bully and tells you you're too short oh short man or until or um makes fun of a mold on your face or acne let's use an example for shortness if he says you're too short you can tell him that oh that means i'm gonna live i'm gonna live longer google it short people tend to live longer you're too tall you may soon die you won't live long <laughs> so get secured in your insecurities yeah? Have a positive mindset. Be secured in who you are. Be secured even in your insecurities. And for cyberbullying, when people write hurtful comments, the best thing is not to respond. The thing, the truth of matter is, when someone, if you, if someone, if someone bullies you on on social media and you do not respond, I'm telling you, other people will respond on your behalf. Leave her alone. She's not listening to you. She's not writing. She's not replying to you. Why are you bothering yourself? So when it's, when it comes to cyberbullying, do not respond. If you are in a country where cyberbullying can be reported, please do report. Did you find value? Did something I say resonate with you? If you did, please share in the comment section. And also, if there are other topics you want me to talk about, feel free to write them in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video, share with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Until I come your way next time, keep living intentional. Bye.